All right. He's way friendlier than Snape. Potions is one of the most challenging <clears throat> and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have Use to go through all that. Even motion when crushing your ingredients. Every time we through potions. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Get the sir again. See, most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Basic life skill, sir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Of course we will. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Total skill. Okay. Now we have to go to My his office. To from school this year after the room. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. This There's guy should sell. Potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Used flying brooms. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Hey, isn't it stealing? I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I've never told him no. I probably should have this time. Alright, let's get the blooper feather. Mongrel fur. Morgan and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance 
Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Alrighty. Rebellion. Anything else in here? I don't see anything. Okay. Potion should not be that color in some dowel. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. This is how you actually brew potions here. You don't go through all that other stuff that we did. You just, if you have the stuff, you just click it and it brews. And boom, we have an Adurus potion. And we're done. And now we add the Mallow Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Get it. Oh. Dragon Dung! What happened? Dragon Dung. Well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. That would be us. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Well, for the time being, we can always Thank come back here. Of excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. To brew a potion. Though we will get our own brewing station later on. Okay, what next? I will do this one. Meet Natty in Lower Hogsfield. Where I've already been. So that and that's the reason I've been out in the world. So we can do this. It's actually a pretty good little run down there. It is good to see you, my friend. See, Natty School. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. Uh, we're fine. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Yeah, we're going to open up here. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. 
It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I you got so. it. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Um. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Not Rumor gonna deter her. Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That'd that be a good be thing. True, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we, we hate poachers. It, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Let's go help the stranger. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. A oh, doxy's nip? Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stop her back. Okay. Uh, I hit the wrong button. But, that's fine. So... Gonna show you something, maybe. Traits, wands, appearances, enemies. Ah, uh, they're not showing up yet. Okay. But you can come here and figure out the best way to defeat certain enemies once they appear. So let's get started. Well, let's try again, shall we? Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Ashwinder Duelist. Okay, collection. See, that's what we were looking for. Do you really think you can... And here we go. Come on. There we go. So, this guy, vulnerable to all sorts of attacks, that's just the basic dude, but this one, these witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks, powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm, we don't have a severing charm, 
will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. So if we had a severing charm, we would equip it, wait for them to try to <clears throat> cast Reductor, and we'd hit them with it. But we don't, so we're just going to have to fight, which is okay. All right, there was I guess we did. What on earth has just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of Merlin was a Slytherin. Demons. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Did you 
see that? The vines disappeared. Well, I did What's see that. Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these hives. Yeah, this is a timed thing. And so what we have to do is Send light them up. But you gotta get close enough to do it. The flames make the pyre sink. Come on, man. There we go. See if we can get there in time. All right. Come on. Incendio. Would have been nice if it would have stopped trying to uh, change my aim. But. We got it done. What a day. I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right. So, Trials of Merlin quest complete. And so, these Trials of Merlin, uh, in, like I said, up there in the top left corner, you complete these challenges and it increases your gear capacity. I understand. You're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. And so we will do that next time. So until then, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please give it a like, feel free to comment. And to share, I do respond to all comments, and they are all appreciated. And uh, other than that, until the next time when we will pick up the main story again, though I will probably grind out some, some of the uh, side quests between now and then, well, I will see you then. And... Uh, I would highly recommend that if you have not purchased this game, if you have the opportunity to do so, go ahead and do it. It's a lot of fun, and there's uh, a ton of gameplay here, a lot more than what I'm actually showing. So, until next time, this is Andy from Aging Gaming. Bye!